Howdy folks, my name is Lanzo90, and welcome back to the Let's, or my tutorial series for Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead, version point F. So, let's head into town. So if you recall, there was a, a crashed RV in a wreckage. It's extremely beat up, but it's possible, well, I guess if I take it out, it's probably not going to be in any condition. This wreckage right here. Actually, that kitchen unit is intact. The mini fridge is not. That's okay. It'll just save us a little bit of work to take this out and repair it. Actually, finding it's gonna be. Now, there it is. Kitchen unit. It's unfortunate that's not the kitchen buddy, but I can live with it. I believe we've done all of our searching for like all the solar panels that we can find. Cargo space. Mm. I wonder if like taking out cargo space, because cargo space is even bigger than trunks. I had a discussion with someone in the comments about that, that there is, there is bigger than a trunk. I thought the trunk was the biggest, but no, it's cargo space. Might actually be able to find us a truck though. Like an intact truck that has cargo space. I don't remember if I've seen one or not though. Busted solar panels. I don't I don't feel like I've seen like a eh, this might be cargo space. Yes, these are cargo space, but again, this is the broken, extremely beat up vehicles. The thing with cargo space is it takes like four frames four long ropes to build, which is very, very resource intensive. But it is true that they hold more than twice as much. Fortunately, we've, we've used a lot of uh, torch already in putting in the... Uh... Oh, here's a couple here. These might be a better... Eh, this vehicle's beat up too. No, these are... That one's better at least. I don't even know if we can remove these easily. Cargo space, remove. So some metal saw. Why not? Cargo carrier. Yeah, these are the things that it takes four, four long ropes and four frames to build the thing. They're quite heavy too. At least grabbing that one because it's in good condition. Now there is like a limit of how much you can put in your vehicle before it will implode in on itself from having too much weight. It does pay attention to that sort of thing. See if any of these cargo spaces are in better condition than the others. It's not particularly. It's either intact or not intact. Hmm. We'll have to see how much how much the and torch was involved in fixing this because see I guess there's a might be out of reach there but yeah I can take out like this trunk that's not in good shape install cargo space 10 charges, that's not so bad. Still, we have a lot of things we need to do. If we can climb over it, that's good to know. Kitchen unit here. Character is very tired, but I don't care. <laughs> I'd care not, but we probably should eat and drink. Chile con carne. And that we had more like tea ready to go. This drink's pretty good though. Okay. 
see how it's starting to come together. A kitchen unit. Again, meth lab is not really critical. The mini fridge needs to go in. I might wait to do that tomorrow, though, because the character's already very, very tired. And we don't want to have to, like, stop in the middle of changing the, uh... And changing it over, you know? What else we can do? I could put a... Oh, actually I actually have more solar panels? Did I get more solar panels? Wait on that for now. I want to see, like, what other cool stuff we can put in. There's, like, a mini reactor and stuff. We don't have that stuff available at all. Warfare. Armor and turrets. Not my concern at the moment. It's probably just going to be storage. Atomic lights are awesome because they don't use power. We're eventually going to need like the autoclave. All oh, dishwasher with detergent, electric motor. You can clean your dishes or something useful. You can see me, I'm dripping with Gombi Gore. I don't know why they define it as a dishwasher and not like a clothes washer because you're going to use clothes a lot more. Recycle kickstand. Oh, jacking quality. Jesse, what the, uh, the F are you talking about? Telescopic crane. Welding rig's pretty important. But it's also kind of like a... There's washing machine. I don't know, just cleaning things by hand is really easy, though, so I don't think we have a need to do that. Autoclave for sure. Welding rig for sure. Might not be anywhere near being able to build, like, a welding rig. Find. Weld. Yeah. Welding tanks. Goggles, mask. Okay, so probably just put a in there for now. I don't know if I even want to put the trunk in there though. As I am like if we are upgrading to cargo spaces and we shouldn't mess around with the trunks at all we do need to install these extra solar panels though our character is exhausted it's probably going to be for tomorrow so for now i recommend just reading some books wherever i put my books i think they're in the food pile now yeah Checking all these books to see what they are. There we go. Can't remember, was I saving finished books? I don't think so. No. I saved the US Weekly through the lens. Maybe that was. I burned them on accident anyway, so... <laughs> so, who cares? Alright. You know what? That might have opened up a lot of stuff, actually. That would have, uh... Helped for our vehicle problems. Yep, there you go. Vehicle forge rig. This allows us to use the power of the car or of the vehicle to operate our forge instead of using like our charcoal forge, which sucks. 
vehicle heater. I wonder if that's going to start to matter. Equals used to have their own kind of like climate control, just assumed. Kind of like how uh, when you go into a vehicle or into a building, the temperature is a little bit better for you. Uh, weld. No vehicle welding tank though. So let's clear that. The other thing though, we read a we have a book now about making swords. Sword, eh, that's crappy. Hmm. Yeah, I'm surprised we don't have better swords available to us now, but it's okay. Real cutie, what are you meowing about, bud? Do we happen to have maybe better. Better duffel bag. Sack. Again, the item length is what matters most. Ooh, the survivor duffel bag actually has a pretty good item length. 23. That's enough to fit like a crowbar. It is. Ooh. That's quite tempting. Survivor duffel bag. 38 volume. It's just one really big pocket, which is honestly usually preferable. High volume rucksack. That thing's huge. Actually, that's even better. It has a, a way bigger container. It has a lot of uh, encumbrance, though, even when it's empty. Tactical backpack also has a very large pocket on it. lower back support. I think that would mean that the encumbrance would be really low, but it's not really like 10. The hiking backpack's the same. I have a duffel bag. Needs a lot of stuff. 38 liters, encumbrance one full 30. How's that compared to what we have now? I'm not even sure what we're wearing right now. Military rucksack. It's siphoning quality, but it's just because we have a, a funnel in our backpack. I guess 10 empty is better for us. 38 liters is much less than what we have right now, though. But again, it's really the, the bag size that's the biggest problem now. Survivor harness. I feel like this used to be really important, but like harnesses and stuff, anything that let you carry more. Because, like I said, they got rid of, uh, or there used to be no. Used to be no carts in the game. Large tactical backpack's the best. Yeah, for sure. Doesn't require nearly as much stuff. I have to make leather pouches myself, but that's not a problem. Actually, like, out of thread, according to that? Let's take a look here. These... Dental flosses need disassembled. Floss. I think it's faster for me to use my arrow keys. There we go. Bunch of thread. Plastic. There you go. Well, leather rifle case. It looks like it looks like it said uh, 
like a uh, laser rifle case. And I was like, what the heck? No. Orange tactical backpack. Have to make the leather patches or pouches. Leather. Ooh, that's too much stuff now. Gonna have to go buy a pouch. Short string, leather patch. Making sure it's not using anything that I. Oh my god, four hours. Even with everything we know how to do, it's gonna take four hours. It's too long. We're just gonna have to read a book because our character is worn out already. Let's see, food handling up makes us happy. It's also the quickest to read, huh? I guess I'll read that then. There we go. All right, let's call on tonight. We need to eat more calorie dense food. It is true that I don't know if I've been taking my multi wipe. I think that's a different message than the calorie dense one, though. Okay. Like, I don't know what you want exactly, game, because. You know, like, eating pudding and stuff is, like, not. <laughs> that's pretty calorie dense. Believe you me. Okay. Question is, do I care more about that batter or that backpack right now, or do I care more about like uh, getting the vehicle done? Scavenger gear. Storage. See, the storage space is not bio silicide chitin armor. You can body armor careful. Okay. Ball, ball of, bio solidified kite. Jesse, what the F are you talking about? <laughs> I can body armor made from exoskeletons. Insects, light and durable. I wonder if we can make chain yet. Chain links. I still need bolt cutters. I don't see chain sheets here though, which is usually what you need to make the chain mail. Basically just trying to figure out what our next steps are here. Heavy survivor armor, this is, no, it's not super warm like I thought it would be. 20, 22, 20, hey, that's pretty good. A heavy hand-built combination armor made from reinforced bulletproof vest and metal-plated leather jumpsuit. Protects from the elements as well as from harm. That's pretty good. 20, 20, 20, basically... 888. Eight, eight. How's that compare to what we're wearing now? We're wearing just like leather armor, aren't we? Oh yeah, it's like twice as good. But you know it's going to take like 10 days to build it. <laughs> Heavy survivor suit. A day and 16 hours. It's actually not as bad as I thought. Advanced polymer sewing still slowing us down. Oh, we do have to use our welder though. Area tool set. Makeshift arc welder. You get more thread, that's not too bad though. Emergency jacket. Ooh, I think I cut them all up, unfortunately. Ballistic vest, Kevlar vest. Don't think we've seen any of those. Fortunately. We have so much stuff now. That's actually. <laughs> It's hard to find, like, a specific hertz 
finding a specific thing would be easy. It's just like uh, just scrolling through to see like what seems good is a little harder now. Three protective cal extending down the neck. Sprayer and eye protection. Eyes, head, and mouth. I have a solidified kite helmet. I have her fire mask. Eyes and mouth. A lot of encumbrance on the mouth, though. Heavy survivor mask. Custom built steel reinforced gas mask that covers the eyes. Protective intelligence must be prepared before use. Might be worth it though. It's pretty high protections. So. White survivor body armor. Yeah, it's pretty light. Pretty weak. Hence the name, I, ass I assume. Kite and arm guards, what we're wearing right now. 9, 12, 3. Yes. I'm not sure how we make these bio solidified ones. Hands, heavy survivor gloves. I think we were thinking of making those, right? We might have already done it. We did, okay. I think it was the boots that were that were next. My to-do list: heavy survivor boots. They take four days to make. <laughs> that is absolute insanity. Luckily, the steel toes are like, eh, they're good. It's not twice as good like those are, but. We have some ideas. Now oh, for you though. We need to install the rest of the solar panels at least because those are always very important. Install solar panel. Eat. Install solar panel. flowing in there. It's got a lot of batteries. But that'll be worth it in the long run. Okay. Chemistry lab. Kitchen unit. Cargo space. That's... Kind of the next thing I'm thinking about is cargo space. How much more acetylene gas do we have though? Because that's kind of the the biggest limiting, limiting factor. Got 22 more in there. Thought I put the extra acetylene in here, but... That one's empty. Concerning. Thinking we may not have Okay. I think we are out of a acetylene. No. Nope. Next question becomes can I make acetylene? <laughs> I think you actually can eventually get there. Sure. I think we tested these books, right? They're close enough to be used. Okay, so. With this little acetylene left, we have to be extremely careful with like what we're going to do. I have 
to be very certain that I have everything I want. The mini fridge. The mini fridge has to be put in. Ooh. How much does putting in a mini fridge cost here? Mini fridge. Oh, let's just tell you if there's bolt turning, but how much does it take to take out? So we gotta pop it out of this bad boy. Oh, it's gonna be free. Okay, that's that changes things. That makes it much less worrying. Ooh, mini fridge. Okay. The vehicle mini fridge. It does have to be in arm's reach, which means I do have to remove this trunk. Okay, it's just metal sign. As long as it doesn't take a settling, we're fine. Oop. Okay. Now. Only very specific stuff. The sugar powdered milk definitely doesn't need to go in there. sure how it got in there to be honest with you because I'm fairly good about not putting here's the big problem with the vehicle right you can't bring your cart inside it's a pain in the butt so actually, yeah, I guess storage capacity actually is going to be more of a concern. Like I am going to have to start carrying more backpacks and stuff because you can make like a foldable cart where you like put it back, put it together and take it apart every time you drive the vehicle around. Really annoying though, but we're all out of time for this video. Hope you all enjoyed. If you did, remember hit the like button, keep the conversation going in the comments and subscribe if you'd like to see more. Until next time, hope you have a good day.